Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Smojo, and welcome back to another amazing, awesome, dope as fuck video, my friend. I know how you clicked on the video. I know. I know what you want to see, and I'm gonna show you. How do you get 170 plus damage for every single school in the whole entire game? Now, this is all possible to my homie Splummer. Uh, Splummer YT, you guys check him out. Links will be down in the description. Check out the channel, yo. Show my man some love. Show my man some affection. Just check out the dude because without him, I wouldn't have known about this. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, check the dude out for real, for real. Big hearts out the Splummer. Let's get started. My man is not online at the moment, but we can still inspect the homie. All right, so we're going to inspect the homie. As you can see, my man has 180 fire damage and 150 damage universally across the line. And you might be asking, why the hell does this Ice Wizard level 140 have more fire damage than me? It's because you're trash fired. Now, on a serious note, the reason why he has so much damage for every single school and an abundant amount of damage for a fire wizard is because of his gear setup my man's now this is a very expensive setup right away if you're broke you might as well click out the video but if you got some money to spend my friend if you got some coin to dip into whiz for some great stats and for some flexage then you might want to keep on watching or if you're just interesting but yeah the level 135 universal damage crown gear in the crown shop gives you a lot of damage and it's absurd my man is rocking uh, vegeliante i probably pronounced that veggie leon i don't know I'm, I'm gonna call it the veggie hat so yeah my man's rocking a veggie hat for 28 universal damage he's rocking the veggie boost for 33 percent damage along with the royal fisher's dress code for 26 damage all three of these the hat the robe and the boots i believe they're the, the the most damage dealing gear items in the entire game universally that that didn't make any any sense at all i'm be honest with you they're the highest universal damage giving gear sets in the entire game i i believe i believe but yeah homie is rocking that for the boots the robe and the hat for the pet he's rocking the all damage with mighty uh really is our pet i don't know why i'm having a hard time pronouncing words today but he's rocking that he's also rocking the royal I'm not, he's rocking the fossil avenger skull crusher for the set bonus he's rocking the wolf lancet of shivers um basically the uh the graveyard a fame in Darkmoor. He's rocking the Fire Mastery Amulet just so he can actually use Power Pit Fire spell since he is an Ice Wizard. Uh, he's also rocking the Band of Chilling Light, which you also get from Darkmoor. Uh, you're, uh, so yeah, pretty much he's rocking the best of the best universal damage gear. That's yeah, it's pretty much it. He's rocking literally the best of the best universal gear. He's this is a very very pay to win gear set by the way um to get this it, it comes from a pack the pack is the uh Yulotype pack which you can't get anymore since the pack's out since christmas isn't here so if you're trying to do this you're gonna have to wait until july christmas and july to actually get this roll because it, it comes out of the Yulotype pack um we all know the pet we all know the one uh the fucking fossil avengers pack that's where you get that from the athame and the ring you get that from dark Morm. and the, the amulet we all know where you get mastery amulets the deck he's just using a regular deck regular deck um it doesn't really matter which one you use but you can just use a regular regular deck and then the uh, hat and the booze that's a new item that no one knows about and we're gonna tell you how to actually go get those items go ahead go to this crown shop go to appearance and gear clothing bundles uh and it's the first one that you see it's twelve thousand crowns which was about twenty five dollars um, so you're gonna spend 25 dollars i'm the dress a lot of fucking money but yeah it's 25 bucks to get this gear not counting the pack openings you're gonna have to do for the utility pack the royal futures pack You'll probably be out about 50 bucks for this entire gear set. But the flexage, my friend, that's what matters. It's the flexage. You know what I mean? The the rights of flexage. That's what matters. But yeah, and in all honesty, you could probably rock this entire set with any school that you desire. You could probably get more damage uh than dragoon damage for a specific school. Like for example, Ice Wizard. The dragoon height, uh the dragoon hat for ice gives you 24 damage. This hat gives you 4% more damage. The boots uh, give you 30% damage. These boots give you 3% more damage. That is 7% more damage than the Ice Dragoon boots. And the amulet for ice doesn't give you any damage. So this would definitely be a better set to go for if you're going full damage on an Ice Wizard, Life Wizard, Balance Wizard, hell, maybe even Death Wizard. You know what I mean? But yeah, my man Stevie here slash Splummer is using this as a Fire Wizard setup. 
Uh, he's rocking 198 fire damage, 150 across the board. Um, you can pretty much interchangeably use this setup for any school that you want. All you would have to do is actually get a different pet. Use an all damage pet for the school that you want. Get the amulet for the school that you want. And probably get the fossil vendor skull crusher for the school uh, that you want. Other than that, you wouldn't really have to change any other pieces of your gear. You know what I mean? But you will have to get the wand. You will have to get a pet, which is a pain in the ass to get. But, hey, if you can get like 10 to 20 more percent damage for your specific school, I would do it. I'm not even going to lie with you, bro. I would do it. Now, I know what you guys are wondering. Shmo, what's his other stats? Shmo, why aren't you showing the other stats? Look, man, I just I just passed up up, you know what I mean? I'll show you guys right now. My man is rocking 32% accuracy, which is max accuracy for a fire wizard. You will not fizzle anything. However, that man's resistance is slacking, you feel me? That man's resistance is slacking. I'm not even going to lie, you know what I mean? But, hey, my man got 150 damage for every single school and 180 damage for fire. As an ice wizard, fuck resistance. My man's got the damage. He's got the damage. He's also got 440 critical rating across the board for every single school. I don't know if this is good block rating or not, but he has some block rating. No stun resistance, no in and out, but 35 in, but I mean 35 in ain't really that much. 6% armor piercing across the board and 100% power pip. Hunt Hunt 114 shadow raising 300 across the board pip conversion and yeah that's really about it i think this setup is pretty damn insane uh this brings back not only like different gear for other schools to use for max damage but this also brings back secondary schools you feel me i feel like one of the main reasons why people didn't use secondary schools was because you just your the gear that we would use you wouldn't have a lot of damage in your secondary school so what's the point of hitting in your secondary school when you can hit with your main school you know what i mean but this brings back a whole different whole different era of wizard 101 back to the game you feel me my man is an ice wizard maining a fire wizard for a hitting school and probably using ice for whatever else ice has to offer i guess you know what i mean my man could literally pop into a pvp match uh using tower shooters or ice blades my man's like oh man i'm a i'm gonna use a set shield for ice he's not gonna kill me i have an ice set shield up boom fire spell and he's dead he is dead because my man has 180 fire damage as an ice wizard an ice wizard do you know how many times i've gone into a team up with a fire wizard with 130 damage at level 140 too many times too many times if an ice wizard can get more damage than you there's a fucking problem i'm sorry i just i have to let that out you know all these freaking dungeons with randoms man all these team ups all these shitty ass fire wizards they getting all my mirrors man they're getting under my skin, man. If this man can get more damage than you, you're doing something wrong. There's a problem, and you need to fix it. With that being said, if you guys want to check out the, uh, the last Dungeons with Randoms video, you would go what I'm talking about. So go ahead and, you know, check that guy out so you can know what I'm talking about. You feel me? But yeah, that's all for today's video, my guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll go over the gear set again one more time for the guys in the back. He's rocking the veggie helmet and the veggie boots. You get this from the crown shop. You just open up, go to appearance and gear, go to clothing bundles, and it's the first one you see right here. The vigilante, I mean, a uh, veggie uh, attire, you know what I mean? Uh, the robe pretty much sucks, but the hat and the boots are the strongest damage dealing gears in the game universally. Uh, he's rocking a royal finisher's dress coat, which is from the Yulatai pack. Uh, his hat, I mean, his hat, his wand and his pet are both using the Fossil Avenger set bonus. His pet is an all damage freely with Mighty, and his wand is just a regular, regular fire wand that you can get out of the pack. Um, the Athame and the ring are both from Darkmoor Chest. Um, the Athame is from Graveyard, so it's not Darkmoor Chest, I'll take that back, but it's from Graveyard, the first dungeon of the last little thingy for Darkmoor, the last stage, or whatever, the third stage, or whatever you call it, the instance, or you know what I'm talking about, and then, uh, the amulet, he's just using a regular fire mastery amulet, um, he get, could get more fire damage if you were to use an amulet that actually gives fire damage, and you can also get an extra blade with the amulet that I'm using, but yeah, any fire mastery amulet would be solid, and the deck is just a regular, regular deck that you can socket, uh, accuracy onto, and you should be straight. Oh yeah, hopefully this opened your eyes up and I see more people using secondary schools more often than usual. Um, I think this would be pretty solid in PvP. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I could literally imagine somebody using this setup or a similar setup like this with the gear in a PvP match and using actual different spells from different schools just to 
just to trick their enemy into thinking that they're one school over another you know what i mean just think about it you could you could be a death wizard and uh using death blaze or universal blaze or whatever and the homie is thinking you're gonna hit with a death spell he uses a death set shield against you and then boom 180 fire damage bitch and you kill that man you absolutely massacre that man. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. By the way, I do go live on Twitch. So if you if you enjoy the energy of the video, my friends, make sure you check me out on the Twitchy Twitchy. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Mojo underscore YT. Check your boy out. You feel me? We be getting like 0 0.00001 people in the streams every day. So if you can turn that into a 1.0001, it will be amazing. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day and peace out.